Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. What's up, good people? All right, so we know you guys have seen our uh, spoiler-free version of Cursed, which if you have not, you can check in the upper right-hand corner, click on that link, and watch it if you want to. And before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on those notifications, and drop comments below. And let us know what you guys thought about the review, what you guys thought about the movie series. Let us know what you guys thought about it all. Without further ado, this is our spoiler version of Curse. It got a lot better um, as the season progressed. Um, but as we all know around here, I hate cliffhangers. Get used to it because that's life. Cliffhangers are all a part of the great movie and TV series setups. Nope. To I mean, continuation. So what it does is it just makes you like want to go back. Obviously, the, the ploy of a cliffhanger is like, oh, crap. I got to see what happened after this. I got to see what mm -hmm. happened next season. But... I don't think me personally, as a movie watcher, show watcher, whatever the case may be, that you need to do that because if the if it was good, and like you have an ending to set chapter, but then after after you have an ending to set chapter, like right before it ends, you then you have like a new like player two has entered the game. Like if you have a new villain enter the game at the last point, then I was like, oh wait, who is that person? But I, I just hate. With, the, with, with, with all my heart. But I mean, it sets up a great moment to continue on and leave everybody hanging for more. But let's not divulge further into that. Let's get back into everything else that happened before then. So yes, as stated in our spoiler-free version, uh, this is set back in the medieval times, blah, 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 you know. I hope you all seen the stories of King Arthur and all that good old stuff. Yeah, so, it has a lot of them in there. Arthur, Merlin. I mean, you actually had a few more people listed in there that they didn't use those names, including the Weeping Monk. Mm-hmm, Lancelot. Who, yes, part of the round table of King Arthur's. Mm-hmm. Even though I am mean, a little pissed off at who played them, <laughs> Daniel, I'm still not over him leaving Teen Wolf. After playing Isaac Leahy for two seasons and then just left the show. He said what he said. He left. That's it. Yeah. Ah, but I mean, all in all, all in all, the show definitely progressed further as it went on, and went and got better as it went on. Yes. You started to have a love hate relationship with the Weeping Monk, who I'm not gonna lie, I knew from the beginning he had to be Faye. Mm -hmm. It wasn't without a doubt he had to be Faye. He just was uh, so lost. He was a lost soul that needed to find his way back to the Fae people. And eventually did find his way back thanks to Squirrel. One of my favorite characters. Yeah, he was great. I'm glad they didn't kill Squirrel. Oh, if they'd have killed Squirrel, I would, I would stop watching it right then and there. I mean, there was a few moments he came close to death. He did, but I mean, like... I know it's his fault, too. To have, like... <laughs> to have a loudmouth kid, like, cussing and fussing and, like... I don't think he cursed, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, no, he, he did was, curse. He, he did curse sometimes. Like, cussing and fussing, and just, like, he's, like, ready to fight no matter what. I mean, like, you'd be ready to fight, too, if he, he became an orphan. He was, he was like, gang, gang, bang, bang. Like, he was just ready to, like, let loose on anybody. And that was awesome. Like, I'm still trying to figure out the scene where they were trying to protect the last uh, outpost uh, with food. How he popped up out of nowhere through the hole, created the hole. Oh, the yeah. Hole. In that basement and then popped in there. I'm like, wasn't this whole place surrounded by uh, the Red Hoods? Exactly. And, yo, he is fast. Like, when they said, like, when they had the whole thing of, like, him running away the first time. Like, he's fast. Like, mm -hmm. he got them skates. He, 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 he can really, like, get to where point A to point B quickly. But, all right, so, so the main character is centered around Nimue, played by Catherine Langford. Yes. Yes, you all might have known her from uh, 13 Reasons Why, also another Netflix series. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so she's supposed to be a fae character, as they call them, which is also considered fairies. I'm still trying to figure out. Is it why they really should be considered fairies or broken down into different different groups? I don't know. To uh, me, they're just magic folk, or as the red hood would call them, witches. Even the males, witches. I mean, they technically they're like so. Of wizards, but um, so yeah. my whole thing with the whole witch thing, right? I can be considered a witch because I'm a fae, even though I don't have powers. See, I'm going to say... That makes no sense. What this brings into relevance in the rural, modern world... Racism. Racism and sexism. It's, once again, that whole storyline of, I don't like you just because you're different from me. Just because you were born as something and I that I wasn't born as. And so, yeah, we don't like you. You're considered bad and evil. But I'm like, did they choose to... You exactly. born this way? Exactly. No, but they're still being born that way. Mm -hmm. And you're still tr judging them and treating them any kind of way just because. Let's burn them now. Put them on crosses and burn them. And then yet you guys burn a cross into the back of your head. I, yo, I swear I thought I, that was so ugly, I'm, bro. I'm sorry. I don't understand that. It made no sense to me whatsoever. I got so it. I'm they, 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 were, they were like the paladin slash cult slash, you know. I mean, they were the red paladin. Yeah. So. But I mean, like, really, you burn a cross into the back of your head. But y'all say those are the witches, though. Whoosh. Never mind. The I'm most, not going to go into that part. The but. most creepy part was the, um, I forget the the guy's name, the character's name. But I don't think, I'm not, I'm not sure if it was even mentioned. But it was the Red Paladin member who was basically the torture guy. Oh, with the eyes. With his eyes sewn shut. Oh, come in now. Let me wipe my, oh, I'm not even going to wipe my face. I'm just wiping my bald head. I'm like... Was he trying to aim for the face of a mist because he can't see? I don't know. Or was yeah. this purposely a, I'm just going to clean my bald head like that's supposed to matter when I'm torturing somebody. I don't know, but that 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 visual. And the funny, those are, it was an irony part where a uh, squirrel was like, I'll, I'll gut your eye or like I'll poke your eyes out or gouge mm. your eyes out or something. And then like he looked him right in the face and said, you're too late. And I was like, the irony in that yeah, statement. The squirrel turned right around and looked up and was like, <laughs> but all in all, it was a great series. I mean, I would call it great. Well, he didn't like the beginning. The beginning, yes, it was a little dry, but it set up for the second half of the show. <sighs> dry wasn't the word, man. I was struggling. Like you ever have a Popeye's biscuit, and you eat that thing, and it's just like struggling to get down here, your throat tolerables, and you. And you, water. Don't, and you don't have no water. Like, it's just none around. Because you drank all your juice or your water with your food. And that you just waited to eat that biscuit last. And that was your fault because now the biscuit got cold. You still decided to eat it. And you don't have nothing to drink left. I mean, hey. Sometimes you got to live with those uh, regrets. Oh, man. It was just stuck all... It, it was so dry. Like, I even tried to watch it um like, and, like... Like comfortable locations and like, uh, like it, it was just dry. I had to push. Through. I mean, once you get to episode five, you, I think you could watch it all the way through. Yeah, completely. after it got to, to episode five, it correct. It definitely did start to pick up. Cause I mean, you have the Fae on the run from the uh, Red Paladins, yes. Red Hoods, and you also have uh, the Weeping Monk starting to question some things. You can see. It in his eyes. Yes, he's still hunting down Faye at this time, but he's starting to have some doubts. Yeah, then you have Nimue learning how to uh, harvest her powers with mm -hmm. the hidden. And, and she also finds out that Merlin is her actual father around that time. Mm -hmm. And also still contemplating whether or not she trusts him with the sword or not. Mm -hmm. Yo, I can honestly say, though. He's a badass with that sword. Yes, he is. Like, well, he was literally... Off at the end. He was literally dying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like death, I might even say death was knocking on his door. Death had the door open, about to grab him from the floor, be like, "Yo, my guy, let's uh, go." You forget, uh, sister uh, Ingrid. Oh yeah, she became the um, basically the widow. Yeah. Oh yeah, the widow. That's what they call it, the widow, bro. And she sensed he was about to die. Yep. The fact that. 
Like she played a really good character, but she also it still has some things, some questions about her for season two. Obviously, if it gets picked up for a second well, season. Well, just her name, her actual birth name, leads to some of her. What was her birth name? It, it, mystical. It escapes moments. me at this moment. Yeah, it actually escapes me too. But uh, it, I, crap, I can't really think of it because begins with an M. Can't remember right now. Don't even worry about it. Oh well. That. But yeah, but like, yeah her, her name had ramifications as well on itself, just like you have uh, the Weeping Monk's real name. Mm-hmm. It's one of the Knights of the Round Table for King Arthur. Arthur's name, of course. Mm-hmm. Merlin, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah. Like, King Uther. It, it definitely, it King definitely Trent. did pick up, and it, it, it was, it was it a great series. No, but is this something that I would just recommend that you will watch? Um, you know, throwing what we're still going through now. That it's what almost August. I yeah, definitely would recommend. We're all about to be stuck back in the house again. I definitely would work. recommend watching it. Um, if I had to give it a rating out of ten, I would give it a solid seven and a half out of ten. I'm gonna go with an eight because one, the visuals for the entire show were great. The special effects were great. The cinematography all together was great. The acting alone was great, especially because I hate Sister Iris. She really got under my skin completely. <laughs> and when you can get under my skin as a character that's supposed to get under your skin, I have to give you your respect and props. So, kudos to them for that one. But overall, yeah, I'm giving it an 8. All right. Well, I, mean, hey. I mean, you guys let us know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Till next time, thanks for watching. Hi,